G'day everyone. So I'm out at uh, Jurakai, gate number one. I've been coming out here for on and off for the last two years and I've never seen flowing water in the creeks. Uh, Warwick got a bucket load of rain last night and I think they had 80 odd mils before that as well. Um, so yeah, I did a quick scout and noticed that piece of bedrock there and then the weeds. Got another piece of bedrock running there where my shovel is and this huge piece. You can see how high the water got up last night. Even the um, highway was closed last night. They only just opened it this morning. So I've got the sluice set up and I've um, done a couple of shovel loads out of there. But I've just gone up to the car and grabbed the pans. Because as you can see I'm on an inside bend and all the um, gravels mounted up there. So I'm going to take a couple of test pans out of all that stuff and in here. See if anything's accumulated and we'll... Um, throw that through the sluice as well. I was going to dig in behind this big rock but it looks like someone's already um, had a go at it. So we'll try the gravel over there, see if there's any flood gold sitting in it. If not I'll um, keep going in behind this piece of bedrock and if I don't have any luck there, the clay looks right, I'll um, try digging in behind this other piece and see how we go. Two shovels scoops from in behind that big rock there just panned it down i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it probably not with the glare Let's see if we can get, oh there it is got a little micro dot in there Alrighty, same pan just working the material down and we've got another nice little chunk cleaned out the sluice I think I only did about half a dozen shovels up at that other spot on the other side of that um, big rock and the piece of bedrock that I'm cleaning out now. And not too bad actually. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see it. But uh, one, two, three decent specks and a whole heap of micro dots. And I know there's a little bit more down here in the sand. All done for today. I um, went in behind that rock down there and the deeper I get the um, less I was getting so I moved on and did a couple of buckets from down the end there because I was actually able to snipe a couple of pieces uh, in that bedrock sticking up out of the water. That's also where I was panning so I might have just been too rough in my pan and they're falling out who knows um, so then the last run I've done I came back up here uh, that bedrock keeps going all the way along and then you've got these weeds so I've basically just taken the top layer off in behind there and um, the top layer in there and then gone down until I hit the clay and that's pretty much it for today it's um, four o'clock in the afternoon I'm not sure again how well you guys are going to be able to see it, but we've got a few pieces in there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah, 14 or 15 bits. And that was just the first swirl. There's probably more in there. I've got to um, finish cleaning it up. But I'm spent, guys. I'm going for a beer. Alrighty, I had to turn the camera back on. Just cleaning down the last of the concentrate. And... We got a picker. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it. A couple more micro dots. Uh, one, two decent specks and five or six micro dots. But then this guy. Uh, come on, I picked him up before. Oh, where is it? Oh, that's going to prove me wrong now. Come on. Oh, I was able to pick it up just a second ago. That's why I turned the camera on. I thought, yeah, you pick a... Oh, there we go. Oh, in the sun. 
Is it going to focus for you? It's probably not. There you go, end of the thumb. <coughs> nice little picker. Sweet. Happy with that. Alright guys, packing up. It's getting late. I want to get out of here before the kangaroos come out. Morning everyone. So it's the next day, come back out and as you can see the um, the flow's died down a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to set the sluice up. Um, I was set up just behind that bush down on the corner there. I've come for a walk up just to take a peek. See what's happened a little bit further upstream. Like I said, you can see how high the water got up. Oh, another bit of rubbish. Um, but I just had a surface find. Someone's been camped up on this flat here. They left their steel cap boots behind the tree over there. Um, but as I was walking up looking for somewhere decent to set up the sluice and some ground to dig, I've um, just spotted this. Someone left their rock axe behind. Oh. Little homemade job from the looks of it. Nice. I'll take a freebie any day of the week. Thanks very much. Alright, well I got you. I might as well keep rolling and go for a stroll up. So I just wanted to have a look up at this other spot. Oh. Just some, um, whoa, 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 nice bit of bedrock there. Looks like there's a fair bit of overburden up here where the creek winds around this tree. So I thought we'd come up and take a peek. Well, that's not a bad bit of bedrock either in there. That might be worth having a poke around as well. See if we can do a, um, Bit of sniping, might even break out the metal detector today if the water keeps dropping down. They don't, I'm not expecting any more rain, at least not for a couple of days. I popped up to the um, local pub and was having a chat with the guys up there. They reckon we're going to get some more in two or three days, so. I might be able to set up a sluice there. You know, tons of ground to cover, guys. Like, look at all that bedrock. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, the water did get up over it. Might be worth having a poke around in there, too. Poking under this tree. A bit of rope there for something. Oh, let's see if I can climb up over this. About going belly over. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, this here is... What I'm standing on now, this is all overburden. Oh, that bit of glass. Another nice big piece of bedrock sticking up here. That might be worth a go to. You know, you could you could dig for weeks out here, guys. There's so many potential areas um, and I know gold was found on this creek well wow, that's a deep hole I'd say someone's had a go at that yeah someone's been cracking bedrock up there I think so yeah oh. Tons of debris up in there. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's keep going. We'll have a look at that bend up here. Let's see what's going on. Uh, okay, so it looks like it splits up here. Same thing. Tons of bedrock. Heaps of overburden from the floods. Oh. Uh, 
Okay, I've got to try and keep my bearings. Okay, so that's just coming in off the, off the flats up there. That's all, you know, flat grazing land and that must be the main, yeah, that's the main creek there. Same thing, got a ton of overburden here. Uh, I'll go up as far as that log jam. We'll check that out. Ooh. Yeah, it's not quite, <coughs> excuse me, it's not quite um, flowing as hard as it was yesterday. But same thing, you know. Even up in here, it would probably be worth a go. It's a um, bit of a inside bend, and you can see all the debris up against the trees. Seen a fair bit of wildlife too. I saw a couple of turtles yesterday. Um, the blue, claw, blue claw decided to climb into my sluice for a minute or two before scurrying out. So yeah, a lot of stuff's been washed down and cleaned out. Uh, barely enough water for the sluice. She was um, struggling to clean the mat so I called it quits dug out all of the um, grass that was sticking up out of that clay in behind that rock there. And there's a bit of a crevice in there. I gave that a dig out as well. Run all that through. And I actually did a little bit better than I thought we would. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it again because of the glare. Maybe if I back up. Uh, there we go. Oh, come on. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine little pieces and a couple of micro dots and that's just the first swell there's probably still more okay let's see how we went so ingredients water dishwashing detergent a couple of drops just to break the surface retention uh, snuffer bottle oh, throw it all in there you never know if some gets trapped up in the lid, just in case. And the good stuff. So after having a close look, I probably moved oh, about half a cubic meter of dirt, I reckon. And this was over the space of a day and a half. And I wasn't rushing guys, I've got a dodgy back, so trust me, I wasn't busting my guts. <clears throat> so it's not tons, but I'm still pretty happy with it. And it was just a nice luxury being able to put the river sluice in out at Jurikai here. It's the first time ever I've seen running water. So, um, yeah, we didn't do too bad. There's my little... Um, and there's my picker. I have a dots there, dots there. Let's, um, let's try and swirl it all down in one spot for you. No, it's just going to spread out everywhere. Let's move it all up. Moving on up. So yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. Happy with that. And just to give you an idea of scale, let's throw a 20 cent coin in there because it's the only shrapnel I've got on me at the moment. Yeah, 
So yeah, not too bad. I'll take it. And gotta love a picker. Sweet. Uh, still hoping to get out with the detector, but looks like there's another thunderstorm rolling in. And I don't want to be the only thing in the middle of the bush swinging a steel axe around. Okay, back for another day on the creek. We got some good rain last night and it's been raining most of the day. Um, that's where I had the sluice set up yesterday. And that was where all that weed bed was that I dug out. Whatever I left behind has been washed away pretty much. So today I moved the sluice up and I've been um, digging out in behind that bit of bedrock. You can see there's a bit of an eddy in there. So I've just pulled the sluice out after doing oh, maybe 20 litres of dirt. And I'm not sure if you're going to see it. Just beside that triangular rock there, a little bit of gold sitting in the mat. So hopefully there's some bigger stuff trapped in the cells. And I'll um, do a clean out. Okay, cleaned out the mat. And not as good as I'd hoped. I was hoping to see a little bit more. Got one decent speck. And then a couple of micro dots. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see them. Once again, the glare is pretty terrible. Nah, it's just not going to work for me, is it? Oh. Yeah, a couple of pieces. But that's only the first swell. There's probably more down here in the ironstone. The ironstone seems to move it around in the pan, so we'll just keep. Um, refining it down and suck out the bits as we go but still more color I'll take it yep sure enough another piece hiding under the ironstone